Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another 1-6 scale diorama review. Now today we are taking a look at a diorama accessory, not a diorama display base. But it is made by the very same company that has done all of the previous diorama pieces we've looked at on the channel. Being of course Toys Box. This time we are looking at their workshop test desk this being the Batman slash Bruce Wayne version. Now you can get an Iron Man version and you'll see why a little bit later in the video when we start to light this thing up because yeah, it has lights in it and it looks fantastic. Now if you are looking to get this, I got mine from ToysWonderland.com. Link is down in the description below, but do bear in mind it is an unlicensed product. So keep that in the back of your mind when you are making your purchasing decisions. Now before we take a look at the desk itself, we will see all the bits and pieces that it comes with. The first piece is this. It's a little stool. It's relatively basic. You can see it does say Toys Box underneath the seat. There is a bit of a translucent rod down the center with some blue detail on the inside. There's also a red piece that goes around the edge just to make it look a little bit more visually interesting. You also get a remote to control the light up function. They have used the same remote with the Batman and the Iron Man version. You can see for some reason they've gone with the Arkham Origins cowl and this being of course the Mark 43 helmet on either side. Of course on and off button relatively simple. You also get a microfiber cleaning cloth. It's a nice touch because of course the desk itself is completely translucent. So if you are setting it up and you do get a bunch of fingerprints on there, then you can use this to of course clean it off. Lastly, to power the desk itself, you do get a DC or it could be an AC point with USB on the other end. It does have an integrated power supply. That's why this is a little bit chunkier. This does just plug in to the desk itself. Then you can either power it from an external battery source like a battery bank or you can plug it in to a permanent power source being, of course, a power adapter. Now we will be turning the lights on in the very next clip, but I thought I'd show you the desk before we light it up because in and of itself, it's a really interesting piece. Coming down the bottom here, you can see a bunch of tech detail and there is surprisingly some paint on there. You can see some gradation to the paint where it is a little bit lighter in certain sections, potentially where there would be a little bit more wear and tear and it goes up the side of this main pylon, plus a bunch of sculpted in detail with fans and conduits and a bunch of decals as well all throughout. You can in fact remove this piece right here if you don't want it supporting the entire upper desk section and you want to give it that floating illusion. You can definitely take that out. It's in the instructions. You can also see it says Wayne Enterprises on this bottom piece. I would imagine if you get the Iron Man version, it would say Stark Industries, but the design would remain relatively the same. Up on the top, you do have more tech details sculpted in and even more decals. They do appear to be water slide decals. You can see some subtle edging around there. You can see designed and manufactured of toy box. The wording's not quite right, but yes, we do get the point. And a couple of warning symbols all around on the high powered areas that would of course constitute the desk itself. You do also have these two upper screens which can swivel on that joint backwards and forwards. They do light up as well. You also get an image of a bat suit with the Nolanverse trilogy Batman logo. It's kind of, aside from the Wayne Enterprises logos here and there, the only thing that shows you this is specifically made for your Batman. You also have another screen up the back, but unfortunately you can't quite see it just yet. Don't worry, when we turn the lights on it'll look even better. So without further ado, let's get it all lit up. And here we have it, fully lit up, and this thing looks absolutely gorgeous. It looked great with the lights off, you could see all of the etching and all of the detail, but now with the lights on, it glows a treat. And it's not just a basic single colour either, you've got this orange which blends nicely into a pink, then goes to a much darker purple, with some light blue sections for the upper screens and down 
down below, you've got that nice light blue as well. It is one of the most visually striking pieces, diorama pieces that is, that I've ever seen. You do owe it to yourself to display this with the lights on. I currently just have it plugged into an external power source, but if you did want to, you could have it plugged into a USB battery bank and have that permanently in your display and just charge it up every now and then. That way you don't have to worry about finding room for the cables to plug into a power point. Now, as for the detail, it does get highlighted a lot with the lights on. You can see the etching picks up the light marvelously. It looks great on camera, but trust me, in person, this thing looks even better. I am tempted now to go ahead and get the Iron Man version because I think this desk works a little bit better with Tony Stark. It's kind of more his style. It's a little bit more flashy. I don't necessarily know if this works perfectly for Bruce Wayne. Then again, I guess it depends on which version of Bruce you do have in your collection. But either way, I love the way this looks. So of course, there's only one thing for it. What we are going to do now is get a Bruce Wayne figure out here and take a closer look. Now I have specifically kept this in a low light environment just so you can see the detail a little bit better. As soon as I turn on the light box lights, it kind of washes out the entire thing. But for this display, I have gone with the Christian Bale version of Bruce Wayne. You can, of course, use Ben Affleck, or if you are doing a custom comic book version of Bruce Wayne, that would work really nicely, in my opinion, with this table. But for me, if I was to have this on display, as I said, I would more than likely opt for the Tony Stark version. I just think it's a little bit more his speed. I am curious, though. If you were to pick up this table, would you get the Iron Man version or the Batman version? And which version of Bruce Wayne or Tony Stark would you pair with this table? Because yeah, the light illuminates his face a treat, and it does add a little bit more flair and pop into the display, which is always a good thing. Overall, I am extremely happy with this. It looks gorgeous, especially in low light. I do have to find a way to add this into the display because it's too cool not to use. Now, if you are looking Looking to pick this up, it is still available from ToysWonderland.com. I have included the link in the description below for your reference purposes only, because bear in mind, this is a third-party, unlicensed product made by Toys Box. Also, while you are down there, why not check out the link to Six Scale Network, the awesome Facebook group. Come along, chat figures, share photos of your collection, and of course, see what's coming up next on the channel. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.